Good morning, good morning, good morning, fellow humans. I'm awake now. We are going to the airport. My voice is a little bit squeaky, isn't it? It is currently 4.47am. So I've been up about half an hour now, just about to get in the taxi. Got my cosy joggers on for travelling, t-shirt. I'm going to pop a jumper over the top of this and we're going to head off. So here I'm in my cosy jumper. My best friend actually bought me that jumper for my birthday recently and she has a matching one. And when I sent her a picture of me in it, she sent me a picture of her in it. How cute is that? Some people may think that is sad. I think that's so sweet that we match. <laughs> so here we are arriving at the airport. We were flying from Terminal 1 at Manchester Airport. So as we arrived, we went to check in. We had checked in online. As you can see over there, although those people, they had not pre-checked in. So it was a bigger queue. I recommend you check in online before you arrive. We've just got through security. It is 25 past six. So we stormed that. We got through really quickly. They got us through, it was great. Um, we are booked into the lounge at Terminal, Terminal 1 at 7 a.m. So we're gonna have a quick look around the shops now and then we're gonna head over to the lounge. We headed over to Boots. My youngest son had forgotten some medication, so we went in there, they had it, and then we had a look around at the rest of the shops. There were some ATMs in case you needed to get some currency. Up ahead, they had a Biza. I think that's how you pronounce it. B-I-Z-A. It was like one of those shops that sell everything. To the right there was a Starbucks. That looks good to me. We had a WH Smiths. All airports in the UK have a WH Smiths. Is that the same all over the world? They all seem to have a WH Smiths. Um, a lot of local ones have closed down, haven't they? So as you go in, they've got all the offers on the drinks. Lots of bottles of spirits and gins, flavoured gins seem to be very popular, don't they, at the moment? The famous Lemur cream here. Very pricey, isn't it? <laughs> but if that's your kind of thing, if you want to invest in some skincare, I suppose the airport's a good place to do it. They had so much choice. It's lovely looking round, isn't it? And they're, oh, they're drawn to the perfume and the makeup. They also had some sunshades in here as well. If you wanted to treat yourself to some new sunshades or you'd forgotten yours for your holiday. loads of choice on those sunshades so i actually purchased some gabrielle chanel perfume or yes gabrielle chanel perfume there it is i had to make quite a quick decision um, I smelt them all, I smelt uh, very quickly, made a snap decision as the boys were waiting for me. At the till, they did have all these special offers, so they had some wines there that were knocked down, loads of little travel products, so all those you could pick up at the till. Then we headed over to the a lounge, we were in the escape lounge. There was also this Aspire lounge. Um, and this looks like it is available to people who are members of the dining club. So it was very nice and quiet when we were in there. Loads of space and plugs to charge your gadgets up. Ready for the flight. So this is Laurie, he's having a fruit juice. And then we headed over to have a look what they had to eat. I grabbed an apple before we set off. So I grabbed an apple from the side. <laughs> I was very hungry this morning. I think it's all that excitement, isn't it, for the flight. Ate my apple as I had a look round. They had some cereals, some porridge and croissants. Now 
There are lots of toppings for the porridge. If porridge is your thing, then you've got some good toppings here. You've got some chopped nuts and some lovely demerara sugar. They had some fruit and some yogurt up there and some more pastries. These are my kind of pastries. <laughs> Danish and some muffins. It makes you laugh, doesn't it? When you would never ever have a pastry or a muffin at home for your breakfast. It's weird, but you do do it on holiday. So some juices there, some strawberry juice, which is my eldest son's favorite. And then they have a really well stocked bar, all the soft drinks there, We've got spirits at the top, some wines. All these spirits were uh, proper branded spirits. You've got a Pepsi, oh it's Coke isn't it? It's the proper stuff, it's a Coke machine and some cans of Guinness and Stout in there. I think there were some bottles of lager as well and then you've got your cooked breakfast. So little potatoes and some tomatoes bacon, sausage and some bananas and apple, that's where I got my apple from and then we've got the tea coffee machine with all your accompaniments and on the end here which I was taken with they had some morning syrup which is like what I have at home so I did have a brew with some of that syrup in. I was getting very excited looking at these clocks on the wall because they had one for Dubai and I was like, that's where we're going. Me and Sebastian set up at these little chairs once I'd had my breakfast, which was tomatoes, baked beans and potato. And then we headed to the gate. Manchester Airport are very good at um, recognising disability. We get a sunflower lanyard for our eldest son and they asked us whether we would like to board first or last. We opted to board first so we could get him settled into his seat before the crowds came onto the plane. Having a quick look in the loo, everything was nice and clean. It was a good size for an aeroplane. Everything you would need, really. Ooh, and some white company noir room spray and lotion. Very fancy. Yeah, sure. My son here is showing us how the TV folds away. Seats 52A and 52B. So we have lots of leg room here. These were good seats to pick. However, you have got to put your TV away uh, when you're landing and taking off. Paul demonstrating the headrest there and how comfortable it was. The seats were really comfortable and the whole plane had a really nice feel to it. The lighting was lovely. Paul and Laurie there sat in seats 54A and B. However, I think we were a bit luckier really with having those at the front and there was no one sat next to us as I think the TV was broken on the, in that seat. The only thing I would say is, can you see how my telly is a little bit grubby? It, it had something smeared on it and also the magazine as well did have something that it could do with a wipe down. These little controllers doubled up as a phone. You will have seen my sons calling each other earlier. They also act as a remote and you can play games, use them as a controller as well for the games. So this was the entertainment and information on our Emirates flight. It was very, there was a lot of movies 
goodness me, the entertainment was fantastic. The touchscreen worked really well. We have flown with Virgin before and had problems with the touchscreen. Everything was worked really well on this Emirate flight. The movies, there must have been 100 on there. Hundreds, something for every taste. They had podcasts and they had TV shows, as you can see here. I chose to watch Elvis on the way out and I also watched a horror film called Lullaby. I pointed to Don't Worry Darling there, which I absolutely love that film. That is one of my favourite films. It has split our household because I love it and Paul does not like this film. <laughs> so also on there, there was Smile, which is a fantastic horror film if that's what you like. If you're into that genre, I recommend Smile. Bye bye Manchester! So the book of choice for this holiday was Obsession by Amanda Robson. Has anybody read that? If you have, comment below. It was a little bit of a downer at the end, wasn't it? That's what I found. So in our front pocket, we had the magazine. We had a charity um, a foundation that Emirates uh, donate to, which you could donate money. There was this magazine that had all the products that they were selling, so loads of perfumes, sunshades again. They had a toothbrush head steriliser. Now, after seeing that in this magazine, I have never seen one of those before. I thought, do I need this in my life? Yes, it's probably the answer, but I didn't buy one. Also, the Emirates staff came round. They offered to take a picture of me and Sebastian and also they gave him a backpack and this puzzle book and he really enjoyed doing that and some little crayons. Here was my main meal. So in this I got a cup of still water, some carrot kia, which was a dessert. I actually ordered the Asian vegetarian meal as I know that I really like vegetable curry so I have ordered that before on other flights. Um, I got an orange cacao and cashew bar which was very similar to the naked bars if you've ever had one of those. Some cheese and crackers, some bread, I also got a little um, salad that you saw and the, the cutlery that they give you is actual cutlery so you're not sewing at things with a plastic knife which is quite good. Yeah, on one side it was like a vegetable curry, on the other side it was like kidney bean style curry. It was very tasty. The carrot kia had the texture of a very fluffy mousse and was very sweet and I did eat half of it, but I also ate Sebastian's dessert. So this is how we set up for lunch, being in one of the front seats. The little table came out from the right hand side. Uh, you could have it half folded just with the drink or fully folded for your meal. And this was Sebastian's meal. So he got the cheese and crackers and the bread roll. He, instead of a little salad, he got coleslaw, a uh, milk chocolate cookie, some strawberry and red currant crumble. That was very tasty, very nice. And he went for the butter chicken curry. Also got a little chocolate. You also get a drink with your main meal, so water or pop or some tea or coffee. Or you could have an alcoholic beverage actually, so anything you want. That was the crumble, it sort of had a yoghurt, custardy yoghurt inside. This was Laurie's food, so we all ended up eating something different. He has courgette there, pasta, chicken. He got a crumble as well and a little side salad. Laurie also got a piece of fruitcake on his. So, favourites there, I think. Paul went with cottage pie and all the same accompaniments.
this Emirates plane, which was a double decker. They actually had a bar upstairs for the first class passengers. It looked amazing. They had um, cameras on the outside of the plane, so you could take a look what was going on outside. And then for the afternoon snack, they brought round some pasties. So I think mine was like a tamarind vegetable pasty. Uh, the other boys got a cheese pasty. And then all the lights started to go down because it was getting dark outside. And the lighting in this cabin was lovely. As you can see, lots and lots of leg space here at the front as well. We have lovely seats. Lighting changed once again and there were stars lighting up the sky. When we landed, we had a short wait for security. There were quite a few people in front of us, probably about 20 minutes, that's all. here I'm just comparing the time for the time difference at home it would be 20 to 6 but in Dubai it was 20 to 9 three hours ahead from baggage collect we just walked straight down towards the exit on the left you could hire a car all the car hire companies were there and we headed towards the back left of the building where we met our Virgin Holidays transfer. There was no one else on the transfer, it was just a taxi that they provided. In the taxi we got a lovely bottle of water, we were thirsty and tired and saw the sights of Dubai. This museum, I know this is on all the adverts for Dubai, the taxi driver did say it's usually lit up at night, however I think it was closed while we visited. Here we are at the beautiful Atlantis Hotel. To get to this hotel you do go underground through a, a small tunnel and then you emerge at the other side and you're there. It is absolutely beautiful. The taxi ride from the airport was 25 minutes so not very long at all. And it took us straight to the door as you can see. <laughs> I cannot tell you how beautiful it smells and how amazing it looks. I'm going to save it for another vlog. It took us about 10 minutes to check in. We did actually upgrade on the desk to a concierge level, which got us uh, pre dinner drinks between 5 and 7 pm. Uh, lounge between 3 and 5 p.m. that you could go in and help yourself to snacks and soft drinks and a quieter breakfast room if we needed it. Also it upgraded us to a room with a balcony and this would have cost us 
um, £500 more if we'd have booked it before our stay. However, they were doing a special offer that day on the desk. We found that at quite a few places that if you held off, you would be able to get a cheaper deal. Maybe it's worth just inquiring about that at the desk if you are staying at this hotel. This amazing sculpture, which is the focal point in the lobby, is all made of blown glass. When you get up to it, they're all individual pieces of blown glass. The grandeur of it was overwhelming. The nautical theming was throughout the hotel and the attention to detail was amazing. It was just to a T. They must have had a lot of scent machines as it was like a beachy, clean, crisp a seaside smell. It really complemented the hotel. Hey, 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 we have arrived. We are now in our room. I am going to put this on another vlog. I'm going to show you the whole hotel. I can honestly say I've never, ever, ever stayed anywhere like this. This amazing and this beautiful. It's just absolutely phenomenal. I just, we went just to go and have a quick look around, uh, a little bit of an explore, and they have a, a ginormous aquarium in here, just restaurant after restaurant. They had loads of um, shops. I was just mooching around in my trekkies. There were a lot of ladies in beautiful dresses, and oh, it's just stunning, and it smells so good. The, oh, it smells so good. I'm so lucky. It's just absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to show you. So I will see you next time, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and keep up to date. If you hit the notification bell, if you're enjoying the Dubai vlogs, and then you'll get notified when I upload next time. So bye for now.